Orioles hosting the Rangers, and the Rangers are plus 115 on the money line. The Orioles are minus 140. The over-under is 8.5 runs. The Rangers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 175, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The Orioles laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 145, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. Gray pitched once against the Orioles. Six and a third, two runs, two earned. They lost that game 2-0 in Texas. Rodriguez pitched once against the Rangers. Five innings, two runs, two earned. They lost that game 3-2, and that was in Texas. The Rangers are 5-4 and four as a team with Gray on the mound. They have won his last four starts. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and 4.2 strikeouts per game. Now, the number that I said when they're five and four, they are five and four as a team when he's pitched. So if he comes out and he's got the lead and they lose the lead or no decision, whatever it may be, that's how the team is done. Now, the Orioles are seven and two as a team with Rodriguez on the mound, although he's only two and one. He's averaging four and two thirds innings pitched and 5.6 strikeouts per game in those games. Head to head, the road team is six and four. The Orioles are eight and two against the Rangers in their last ten. The underdog is seven and three on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is nine and one. There have been three one run games in their last ten meetings. And the whole reason why the underdog has been winning so much is because the Orioles have been winning. The over is seven and three in their last ten. And the over eight and a half runs is also seven and three in their last ten. The last series that they played against each other this year, the Orioles took two out of three in Texas. They won two nothing, seven to two, and then the Rangers won the last game, five to two. Now, in the last handful of games overall that they've played, the Rangers have won their last two, and they are five and one in their last six, and seven and three in their last ten. Sixteen runs, ten runs, seven runs, five runs, thirteen runs in a win, four runs in a loss, six runs in a win, three runs in a win. For the Orioles, they are. Also 5-1 and one in their last 6, and they are also 7-3 and three in their last 10. Although the Orioles were beating up, I don't want to say on a little bit more of a quality opponent because the Yankees have been atrocious this year, and the Pirates were no better who the Rangers were just beating up on. 11 runs, 11 runs, 15 runs, and 4 runs. 8 runs and a win, 5 runs and a loss, 9 runs and a win, 3 runs and a win. That was for the Orioles. I'm taking the Orioles with the money line. I'm going to take the Orioles getting uh, laying the runs, and I'm going to go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.